friends myself anushka jain from class 12a from the school ac number 3 as you all are aware today whole world is celebrating world english day so we the students of ac number 3 have come up with some important information related to this day so first let's hear from renu why this day is celebrated as world english day because it is the date traditionally observed as both the birth and death date of william shakespeare macbeth is shakespeare's one of the best tragedies and three witches conversations in the play is world famous let's watch out few famous scenes of the witches performed by shivangi renu and shreshti the play open with the witches greeting each other in act 1 scene from the opening the dark and disturbing tone of the play is clear the witches speak easily of warfare as something to watch avidly until it's time to meet with the newest victim macbeth in act 1 scene 3 The three witches greet Macbeth in a startling and unexpected way. The first witch calls him Thane of Glamis, already his title because of Cynel's death. But then the witches call him Thane of Cawdor and king hereafter. Thus, professing that he will be promoted to Thane of Cawdor and then king. Macbeth who has always dreamed of becoming king when shall we all three meet again in thunder lightning or rain when the holy spoily done when the battle lost and won that will be ere the set of the sun where the place upon the heat there to meet with macbeth in act 1 scene 3 the three witches greet macbeth in a startling and unexpected way the first witch calls him thane of glamis already his title because of cynel's death but then the witches call him Thane of Cawdor and king hereafter. Thus, professing that he will be promoted to Thane of Cawdor and then king, Macbeth, who has always dreamed of becoming king, so he is allowed to hear his ambition said aloud. The witch's prediction set in motion the plot of play. As Macbeth and his wife murder to assure that. he will become and stay king all hail macbeth hail to thee thane of glamis all hail macbeth hail to thee thane of god all hail macbeth that shall be the king hereafter after the witches prophesies that macbeth will be the king in act 1 scene 3 banquo ask what his future holds the witches tell him he'll be less happy than macbeth but far happier and predict that banquo will never be king but his descendants will be Macbeth will soon murder Banquo to try to keep this from happening but he will fail to kill Banquo's son flees who could end up making the witches prophecy come true lesser than Macbeth and greater not so happy yet much happier shall get kings though thou be none so all hail macbeth and banquo as a global
global language, people often talk about English as a global language or lingua franca. With more than 350 million people around the world in, uh, speak English as a first language. More than 430 million speaking it as a second language. There are English speakers in most countries around the world. But how was English originated? Let's hear it from Sanjana from Class 12B. Good evening one and all present here. I am Sanjana Shakewal from Class 12th and I am standing before you to present my views on history of English language. So, English language has been a part of investigation for many scholars and philosophers. English is the language of a lot of game and periods which brings awareness of its unfathomable historic value around the globe throughout the years. To know the history of English language is not an easy task as this involves a lot of speculations and pragmatism and uncertainty. Today, I would like to bring the history of English in a very easy way where you can understand in depth history of English language. It is not there in records at the origin of history. We can only derive from minor witnesses existing around and that, what, that is what we need to concentrate upon. This is how we make have to make sure that all we read is not true about history of English language. Many have formulated and just arranged things as they were not in non-reality. We really don't know the exactness of the history of English, history of English language as its origin. It is basically originated from a beautiful island where, which we now call it as UK. What was this island called? before Christ was born is a big question. We know this island as an island of sect called Celts. The Celtic people were existing in the United Kingdom when still English was not born and probably in the year 600 BC. We do not know now exactly how these Celts arrived in Britain. But they were there for sure as far as our knowledge tells to the present society. These cells were occupied by Picts, Jutes, Angles, Saxons, Saxons from Roman sites. Cells were no longer able to survive with the strong influence of the other sects. So they moved towards north as a matter of existence. Meanwhile, all the above sects mingled and distributed words among each other where Anglo-Saxon language came into existence. What we call as an Old English. So Old English was spoken by many. From there we slowly moved to Middle English where we have a little refinement of English Old English by some poets and at the end Shakespeare shook the parameters of Old English and Middle English and translated many words and brought lot of new words into existence. In fact, English was a language of working people but due to the printing press and due to Shakespeare, English was no more a language of working people but a language of class people then. Now we are into modern English where all words underwent lot of reductions. This is how the history has worked out for us. Thank you and have a nice day. The speech is stunning work of art and the most studied play of all Shakespeare plays. Here we have Aryan Dhakar of class 12b presenting his famous Soliki. To be or not to be, there is the question. Whether it's nobler in a mind to suffer, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them to die to sleep no more and by a sleep say we end the heartache the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to is a consumation devoutly to be wished 
to die, to sleep, for a chance to dream. I, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes the calamity of a long life. World Book is also celebrated across the globe. World Book Day, also known as World Book and Copyright Day or International Day of Book, is an annual event organized by United Nations Education, Scientific and Culture Organization, UNESCO to promote reading, publishing and copyright. The first World Book Day was celebrated on 23rd April in 1995 and countries to be recognized on that day.
probably an international meeting would take place in English. And English even makes tourism easy. However, many fear that English as a global language would result in the extinction of local cultures which is interrelated with regional languages. Another drawback is that the works of many authors and writers who belong to different territories become incomprehensible. In conclusion, I believe that there are more advantages than disadvantages in globalizing English as a language. In future, the demand for English would rise as more number of people are learning and would decrease the nation barrier. Thank you. That's it for World English Day and World Book and Copyright Day. Thanks to you all for watching.